Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today in GTA 5 with a challenge slash race. With the transform events now being able to be made in the creator, it means that Reese can have a lot of fun with building us races. And the first thing that springs to mind is, of course, to race ramp cars into oncoming traffic on the motorway. Now, we have to start off in pre's because we've got to get to the checkpoint that transforms us. Uh, it's just one of the many quirks. It doesn't really like starting you, spawning you in at the start of a race with a uh, ramp car. However, we will hit this thing and then everybody is going to be in ramp cars as we run into oncoming traffic on the busiest bit of the motorway with a uh, tunnel above us. Now, I, having started all oh god on pole, have a relatively easy job to start with. Uh, however, we've got slipstream, we've got catch-up on, and, and so on. Uh, so it, it's going to be oh, may <laughs> mayhem-inducing race. Oh, we've got lagged and we've been murdered. We have been very much murdered. Somebody's in it. <laughs> Somebody in the drive. <laughs> Somebody has got stuck in a driveway. It's not necessarily what you want. And uh, yeah, the game doesn't quite know what to do with so many uh, vehicles doing weird things on the motorway. Oh god, it's going to go well, it's fine, I'll just throw a dump truck at somebody. Uh, now if you're close enough to the vehicles ahead, you can slipstream them in relative safety. If you're further back, you can actually get seriously screwed up by cars being thrown directly at your face or cars being exploded into the roof of the tunnel. Uh, whoop! <laughs> Just <laughs> playing keepy uppies with an SUV. Oh, didn't want to do that. Uh, while, yeah, these will launch course cars many miles into space, uh, they can seriously screw your vehicle over if they hit the wheels. Uh, they you can actually get quite easily spun out in a lot of this. Uh, for the lap race to work, we will very briefly turn back into pre's before being jumped back into a ramp car. So, yeah, it's just the, the ways the, the, the ways of getting the uh, race to work here. Oh, cars are going up into the roof, and we have survived all of the explosions. After the mayhem of the start, I thought we were going to be done for, but... Oh! No, that was not something that we expected to see! God damn! <laughs> It would, of course, I say it would, of course, be me. Um, it's not normally me that explodes first in these or gets killed first in these races. I've... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Is it on cue? Well, thank you, AK, for having died not not quite quick enough. Oh, we've sent a bike to space. It's fine. So you've actually got to be quite careful with being around other ramp cars in all of this because you can get murdered uh, by them exploding vehicles. Like following another car in a tunnel is quite a dangerous place. In fact, I, I say that. Following another car in general here is quite dangerous. Uh, for whatever reason, I say for whatever reason, in the Transform races, the ramp cars seem to be indestructible. Uh, they don't seem to have the horrendous weakness that they get when you're driving one around normally in free room, so we can just drive into as many cars as we like. I am now a little bit more nervous about driving into cars. Oh, god damn, because I've bigly exploded and I've clipped one and gone for a spin. And that was like I was going to mention at some point, but uh, well, I, yeah, kind of, uh, kind of did. If you don't hit a car dead on, you get into a lot of trouble, and you will go for a uh, for a spin. Oh, the other orange ramp car has got a little bit wide there. Hello. <laughs> We, we are here as well. We are making an appearance. This race has not gone according to plan for me. Uh, <laughs> this race has not gone according to plan at all. Oh, crap. We're all ghost mode and we're out of ghost mode. And I think maybe a few cars are smoking from the uh, ramps, from the, from the launching of vehicles. But they're getting reset quick enough with it being a fairly short lap around here, getting reset and gone back into half-decent condition. I love the sight. It's just like this tsunami of metal as you are heading down the... Uh, down the roads as you're watching the ramp cars hit the other side. Back, back, back up into sync. Oh! <laughs> it's just a car sliding along on its roof down. <laughs> okay, that might be my new favourite sight, I think, so far, is the just watching cars. Because you can't see the ramp cars because they're so low behind this concrete barrier. Just watching the wave of cars and things getting pinged up into the air. Now, because I'm at the head of this group, I'm going to be the one launching cars into the ceiling for the vehicles behind to have to try and dodge the flaming wrecks. I think, actually, you might lose a little bit of speed for clipping cars. So, perhaps, it is wise to not uh, launch vehicles unless... Uh, I say unless you really have to, but, uh, yeah, it might be a wise idea to try and avoid 
clonking into uh, these cars if you can. Somebody got out of their car just running down the motor. I don't know whether you're better off inside a car or outside the cars, quite frankly, in this <laughs> situation when you've got these things heading around the motorway. Uh, just not be on the motorway is where I would want to be uh, here. Yeah, I think if we could avoid clonking cars as much as possible, however, if we are going to hit something, make sure we hit it dead on, because otherwise we have that, we run that risk of being spun. There goes the uh, wave of metal down the other side of the motorway, uh, that we, we've kind of found ourselves in a little bit of low man's land at the moment, which kind of sucks. It's one of the, well, one of the things that can happen when it comes to racing, or even with as crazy as stuff like this, even with Slipstream and Catch Up on, I am catching up to the vehicles ahead. But it's a 10 second gap, and I'm not sure we're going to have the laps to do too much about it. Let's stay out of trouble down here. Uh, yeah, keep ourselves on the inside when we can. There's no one really close behind us to oh, be throwing cars at. We don't need to be using the, the, the cars as a uh, deterrent to cars as a kind of weird defense mechanism. It's a big old mess at the uh, hairpin turn here. It's perhaps not so surprising, but I think I'm going to get caught before I catch the... Uh, cars ahead at this rate, because we are, in fact, we've lost, we lost time, we'll see when we go through the next checkpoint. Uh, have we lost, yeah, we have <laughs> lost, how have we lost time? Well, having said that, I do spot a uh, vehicle on the map up ahead. Haha, -ha! we might have, it's been, a, it's been a quiet lap or two. Again, it happens, it happens when it comes to racing. We've had a quiet lap, let's go and see if we can be, we've got to be the best of the orange cars, or... Oh. Mind out of the vehicles falling back down to Earth. Oh, I think that was a Voltic that just went to space there. Oh, bike. <laughs> it's gonna be, I guess it's going to be a bad day for him. He's actually got away with this. Considering the chaos that we have brought to Los Santos, he's had a relatively successful day of getting through this. I really don't want to be exploded again. Uh, throw some cars back in that general direction. Right, so we're up into fifth place. Oh, hit that dead on as best as we can. Oh, I think I see C4 as well. They might have got a little bit of tangles on their uh, own. Uh, through here. Oh, oh, you're gonna have a bad day. <laughs> Saw him climbing out of the car. <laughs> yeah, he's had a <laughs> he's had a rough day. I think in that explosion, in that flight of that car, I uh, spun the orange vehicle behind. Certainly, he's got turned around and lost a whole heap of time. I can see fourth place. How many more laps do we have of the Art of Mayhem? <laughs> it's a shame. Oh, we got a couple more laps to go. It's a shame that. Uh, GTA 5 struggled a little bit to deal with the mayhem that we are, we are bringing. There is a huge, I say there's not a huge number of us, we've only got uh, 11 of us today, and I'm kind of glad that we don't have too many people in this race, otherwise it would have a utter fit, I think, trying to keep up with everything. We are up into fourth now, we are catching the leaders. By staying out of trouble, we are actually not doing too bad. Kind of scoop our way through there sensibly. Uh, scooter! Oh, well... He's fine. That was disappointing. That scooter there is going to be fine as well. That was very disappointing. We didn't launch him to space. Uh, we've kind of just got the debris field at the moment to deal with. Uh, oh, I spot. I spy a podium. Oh, chance! I should have been paying more attention to that because I didn't really want to have a car bounce or land on me and bounce off the roof. Ah, oh, things are exploding. Now we don't have as much choice in terms of lanes that we want to be going in here. We've kind of just got to stick with where we are and uh, I say hope for the best, but. My whole tactic of trying to swerve and avoid, oh, avoid out of the way of cars is uh, a lot more difficult to do when you've got vehicles around you and when said vehicles around you are throwing cars at your face. So, <laughs> we will, uh, yeah, try and try and stay out, you know, of the traffic, try and avoid hitting as many cars. I know it's a weird thing to say, uh, but it's an important part of all of this. Something's exploded. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like feather falling on the SUV. That's a useful thing to have. Catch the minivan! <laughs> I think we did. <laughs> oh, got more cars. That was a dumb thing. It was, that was an unnecessary risk, but it was kind of worth it for the uh, for the distance that that minivan got in all of that. It was definitely worth it trying to catch it. Well, the Sultan will go for another bounce. You, sir, look like you could do with a help with getting your car righted. Oh, God, things are exploding. Avoid the explodey cars. Now, if we're lucky, this might actually come down to an amazing final lap. Third has pulled away from us slightly and is catching. The two leaders are right up there. If if we can get things right, if we don't get exploded, don't make any silly mistakes, launch as few cars as possible, it looks like we are going to have a three-way battle for the lead here, heading on to the final lap. Who would have thought it after my terrible start? The first one to die. 
And we are heading on to the last lap in third place. Will we survive the uh, mayhem, the explosions of the tunnels once more? Oh, ghost mode is uh, going to be the first thing we have to deal with. Come on, get me, get me some of that slipstream. No, I've fallen back. That smidge too far for the slipstream. There we go. That's better. That's better. Give me the slipstream. Mind the explodey cars. Right, launch our way forward here. If we can time this perfectly. Oh, bounce the mini off. Cars are exploding everywhere. Oh, I've kind of given the... Uh, I say the grey car, these are all a little bit rusty, they're all a little bit battered, the ramp cars. It's a four car battle into oncoming traffic here on the final lap. Go on, Ruiner, you can go to space. We're going to take the lead very briefly. Oh, we're going to get slipstream. I'm trying not to block the car on the inside. I don't really want to find a truck. Oh, we're going to get turned. No, somehow we're still going. Oh, it's all going a little bit wrong now. <laughs> How on earth are we still pointing the right direction, all four of us? I don't... I am sorry to the grey car, I didn't really have anywhere to go in all of that mess. It was, it, the mess was happening and you were just fighting for control of your own car. I'm hugging the inside. Hug the inside. Throw cars at the opposition. Throw cars at the opposition. Slow them down if we can. There's been a tangle further back. Are we going to get slipstream pass on the runs of the line? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't think we did. I think we held on to that. But I don't actually know. <laughs> he was right there. That was a hell of a comeback. Did we win that or did we get... We did by the tiniest, tiniest margins. That was an incredible finale. <laughs> that race. <laughs> what mayhem. What mayhem indeed has been caused on the motorway. This is... Yeah, this is definitely very, very good fun. <laughs> That was a giant, giant mess. But so, somehow, having spent so long on my own and having exploded early on, we came back to take a victory. Fantastic. So there was supposed to be a second variant to this race involving us using the Prius while there was a ramp car going the correct way around the motorway. It wasn't quite working, so we've decided, well, this was so much fun, we might as well go and have another try. And I'm hoping I can be involved in the uh, lead battle for longer than the final lap, hoping I won't get my car exploded immediately. I say immediately. Hoping we can stay out of trouble, not spin our vehicle, and so on and so forth. Oh, well, there are prees around. At least we can launch prees at people. That's, that, that's, that's okay. There might have been prees in the last race. I didn't really pay much attention to the vehicles that we were launching at, uh, at other people. It's kind of just paying attention to where they land. Oh, I might have run a little bit too deep there. Oh, that was a little bit of a... Uh, <laughs> little bit of a oh, there are already cars exploding over there in the distance. Taco van! Uh, Taco van didn't really... Oh. I'm going to lift off the... I keep forgetting how long the nose is on this car. Uh, <laughs> you get it wedged underneath vehicles. A breeze to space. It's really tempting to try and catch the vehicles as they get flung around. That was a lot of explosions. I can't get out of this lane. I'm kind of stuck going through the middle of everything. Um, okay, we're fine. Oh, our turn to be a slightly scooped. Yeah, we're going three wide in ramp cars. Three wide in ramp cars down the motorway. This can only go well. Oh, we were fine, I think. <laughs> Oh, that's going to go four white. <laughs> I tried, tried not to go to sort of move across on the pink cover. As soon as the, the front scoop gets caught underneath, that's when you know you're in trouble. Oh, we've got Blink Mobile coming alongside. Right, four car battle for the... Ooh, bloody hell. That was sort of mega gravity on that... Uh, I don't know if it was Oracle, Jackal, something like that. Some saloon car that uh, came down with a lot of force on the front of my vehicle. Oh! Careful now. You know what? This bit here is probably safest. As tempting as it is to launch cars, it is probably safest for me to miss the checkpoint because I'm an idiot. God damn it. I thought I would be clever and stay out of trouble there, but the checkpoint is, uh, yeah, there. <laughs> I didn't explode this time, but in me trying to stay out of... Whoa! Say hello. Thank you for the assistance. There's someone's got a car on the bridge. <laughs> Well done. Well done, whoever managed to get a car onto the bridge. Well, that, there should be some bonus points, I think, involved in managing to get get a car. Oh. <laughs> I love how we have no issue firing a truck. Like, we can go underneath that bus, no problem at all. And yet a person... Oh, apparently we can't go underneath that car, whatever. 
for whatever reason, we couldn't go underneath that car. But most of the vehicles we can go underneath, we can scoop up and we can launch at ceilings, no problem. But a person, a person we cannot deal with. Uh, <laughs> they, they slow us down. Oh, why are we flipped? <laughs> why? Why has our ramp car, why has our flip car been the one that on the receiving end of a peculiar glitchy flip? It's not gone well this race. Oh, and now we're now we're starting to hurt a little bit. It's almost almost at the, the reset point for the car. Almost. Uh, make it up towards the hairpin. We might be in a fight for like seventh place. That's okay. At least we aren't still in a fight. <laughs> the speed at which these cars rotate, the speed at which they twist around in the air is mad. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes it's just sort of nice lazy rolls and flips. Some of them are just truly amazingly savage. Like the G-forces that would go on in some of these cars. I, admittedly, a lot of them end up exploding on the roof of the tunnels, but the, the G-forces that would go on in some of these flips would... I would like to know, because I bet it would be an incredible, incredible number. Oh, well, cars vanishing out of existence don't really uh, help matters. We're struggling to catch up to the kind of brownie car ahead of us. I think we're going to have, yeah, a big, big 30 seconds we lost in that... Uh, that screw up from uh, from me. Well, we'll just sort of secondary launch all of these cars. Prius got rolled over the top of us. Ugh. Well, now we're just into the thick of the traffic. There's no real no real option here. It's to avoiding stuff. There's so much debris across the road that uh, yeah, there's just nothing nothing you can do. At least in a, in a race like this, even when you get dumped down the order through uh, a little bit of bad luck, a little bit of misjudging, there's still fun to be had. There's still well much chaos to be caused and uh yeah that it, it makes it makes for a spectacle like wherever you are <laughs> in the race the metal tsunami is an impressive thing to watch uh, if we're going to we're not really we're, so we're not really quite in the right place because of where we are in terms of the uh, leaders we're kind of in the tunnel as they're coming through we don't quite get the same effect from inside the uh, tunnel here it's yeah it's along this part of the road <laughs> it's just yeah, it's madness. Oh, Bree's got up. That's all else is going. We're just going to try and drive down the middle of all of that. Oh, oh the orange cars run wide. Ha <laughs> ha! Punch our way through all of this. <laughs> We've got ensnared in traffic. It's a three-car battle for seventh. Not quite as good as the three-car battle for the lead, but I'll take a three-car battle for seventh uh, over being running around on my own. <laughs> Get landed on by a Prius. Bye bye, Sabre. Uh, I don't think we've launched any Puma Bills. I haven't seen any Pooh Brown. Oh! I say that, we've been defeated! <laughs> what beated us completely there? This race has gone from bad to very bad to worse. And um, there's worse. <laughs> Pink car in our lane. <laughs> I don't know why my cards started twisting and flipping from, from these collisions. It shouldn't, they don't normally do that. That's a strange behaviour for the ramp car. Ugh. I guess it's. Oh. Slight blink reveal going on there. I guess it's the uh, karma for having a good race, whereas others would have had much bad luck. It's, yeah, races like this, sometimes you have the luck. Sometimes you don't have the luck. And uh, we are, oh, the, the race gets a little bit confused when it comes down here with the checkpoint system that uh, has to be employed to get it to all, uh, to all work. There go the leaders. Again, the leaders are having a very good fight in all of this. I was... I was having a better fight over seven... Jeez, that thing has exploded as soon as it got up into the air. I'm surprised how many of these cars are exploding just from the impact. Oh, I spot the brown car. We've actually had a really good turn there as the tsunami of cars. Yeah, that's an also an impressive angle to witness it all from. Oh, there's the orange car coming back. <laughs> you just don't see the ram car. It's so low and the vehicles that get thrown up behind it is amazing. Yeah, as far as spectacle goes, this might be one of my favourite races we have done. I, it's, the, the challenge is slightly different to when we ran the Guardians around the motorway, when we ran the Pantos around the motorway and so on. But because uh, yeah, the, the challenge is different because, well, these things don't have an issue with the driving into oncoming track most of the time anyway. But the spectacle is incredible with the uh, field of cars being launched. Oh, well, that's a <laughs> bad day for that car. <laughs> Uh, whoop, there goes the Emperor. I'm always a little bit nervous about the ghost moding, what's going to happen when, when we go in ghost mode. Oh, we kind of parted the way for the orange car. Oh, tries to stay out of trouble. I got massively slowed down in that collision. Camera, well, you, uh, camera got completely stuck. The orange car is 
lowered away in all of that. And the brown car, I don't know where that's gone. It's fallen back. Um, it's, it's all been a mess. Yes, get stuck underneath the Prius. Get stuck underneath the Prius. I need all the assistance. A Prius is an un unlikely ally for me. However, <laughs> if... if we can use a Prius to our advantage, then I will not uh, not turn that one down. Hey, we got underneath that, f f that flying car spiralling out of control. Oh, try to weave through traffic where there's a gap while the Hummer's coming towards us. Again, if we can avoid the traffic, I will, but sometimes you're better just to make sure you hit it dead on so that you're not slow. Not that hitting it dead on hasn't had its own issues at times as well. Taco van, don't really want to hit that at an awkward angle because that would end poorly for us. Uh, we caught up towards a blue car, I think, in all of this. Actually, the car that I got the lead from on the final straight, on the final corner last time around, we have since caught up too. That was actually quite a good overtake for positions on that final uh, final quarter by me is the two uh, two orange cars continue to fight for the seventh place the all-important seventh place who will cut through the traffic best not me in all of this is a Prius with a door open. <laughs> just casually with a door open uh, I'll sit in the slipstream bike get out of the way oh the exemplar was already lifted up uh, got to be very careful again with the scooping up of a car ahead of us uh, big stops down here I'm oh, gonna get hung out to dry on the outside Nowhere to go there. Oh, something else has gone bang. Uh, way. Let's try and dodge out of the... You, it's an awkward thing. You, you want to be out of the way of the cars. Oh, spinner up ahead. Dodge those. We're up into sixth once more. <laughs> Come on, we can have another unlikely comeback. I think that's asking a little bit too much, considering, well, we can see where the other cars are, judging by where vehicles are flying into space from. We are a very long way back, but we have managed to pull a little bit clear in the uh, the sixth place. Fifth is, yeah, too far gone. Up ahead of us, launch some more cars here. Can't really do much about these guys. Ooh, almost got, almost got spun, thankfully, with the... Uh, was <laughs> I think that might have been somebody's screaming sound. It was a very odd sound. It's just <laughs> peculiar sounds followed by just cars flying through the air. Um, oh, I think we're on a change of leader with someone disconnecting. That's a little bit of a shame. There's been a massive mess up ahead because we're now actually not that far away from the, well, uh, fourth and third and fourth place cars over, over all of this, uh, which is, I guess, kind of, kind of helpful. We're, we're up into fifth. We've made a place more through technical difficulties than anything. I'd imagine that might be their car there, or might, that might have been someone... I haven't noticed anyone die, but there may well have been have been deaths in this. Prius can go to space. Oh, Prius will do a little bit of a flip. Another Prius, got to go to space. Uh, <laughs> we've got that We've got that safety cushion at the moment that means I can just launch cars. I say a safety cushion, we're not actually that far clear. Um, fifth, by the looks of it, has got himself into trouble because we are catching rapidly, but we are going to run out of time unless he has a big spin somewhere into this uh, final corner. We are not oh, going to be able to do anything. We had a big spin. Thankfully, we were slowing down for that corner anyway, so it didn't really matter too much. I was expecting to be able to go underneath the wrecked pre. Could not. Fifth is going to have to do... It was a half-decent comeback. <laughs> half-decent comeback. I like this race. I like, I like this race a lot. It is very, very mad, but good. <laughs> Good fun. It's a shame I couldn't have been a part of the uh, lead battle. Silly mistake, missing the missing the checkpoint. I thought I was okay to run down that side of the road, but uh, was not. Otherwise, yeah, a lot of fun. A lot of fun racing with these. A big thank you, of course, Ghost Reese, for building the map. If you want to have a go with this level yourself, you can. There'll be a link in the description. It's, yeah, a lot of fun. A, a lot of very, very silly, entertaining, launching cars to space kind of fun. However, that's going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye.